the 155 millimetre artillery round was a shell that weighed more than 40 kilos. During the Second World War, it was fired by the M1 Hobitzer, nicknamed Long Tom, a big six tons cannon. It required a crew of 11 people to manage the cannon. It could fire up to four shells per minute. The speed of the round was more than 500 meters per second. It produces a crater about 2 meters deep and 5 meters wide, with a kill zone of 50 meters. How was it fired? This cannon didn't use cases, as would happen in the cannons until 105 mm. This one, for example, is a 105 mm round with a case. This round is inactive, it was used to launch propaganda flyers. Instead of the case, the 155 mm used propelling charges contained in a bag. First, the shell was inserted in the cannon barrel. Then was inserted the propelling charge contained in a bag. The bag was divided in individual bags of powder, numbered from 1 to 7. Using all the charges, the round could reach 15 km. To hit a target at a shorter distance, you had to untie the bag and remove the smaller bags. The charges were ignited by a fuse like this. It was inserted in the cannon. The primer fired the igniter of the basic charge directly in the bridge block. The shells were shipped in pallets or in crates. The propelling charges were contained in asphalt impregnated fiber tubes like this. The solution was cheap, liked to carry, could resist to water for some time and was strong enough. Not a bad idea. These fiber containers were shipped inside wood crates like this. Each crate contained two tubes. Here you can read 155mm gun. M1 or M1A1 is the name of the gun. Chart propelling, NH powder, it means non-hygroscopic powder, with liner. The liner is a chemical agent and it's commonly used to preserve the gun, removing the copper residues from the rifling of the gun barrels. Here there is the lot number. On top right, the ammunition identification code, AEC, that identifies the propelling charge for 155mm. Here we see loaded 1044, it's the year and the month, October 1944. Weight and volume in cubic feet. These ones are another type of propelling charge for 155mm, the M4 white bags. M4 is a code that means a base charge plus two incremental charges. They were held together with clover fields with a rod in the center and butterfly screws on top to close the assembly. And here there is a beautiful waterproof M13 canister. It contained a M4 A1 charge, a base charge and four incremental charges. Here you could also keep the unused charges. It's possible to see some marking on it, not very clear, but the AC number that identifies the kind of munitions and explosives, kind of charge, weight, mass of velocity, caliber of cannon, type of powder, lot and year, place and date of packaging, weight and volume, white band and smokeless powder for cannon. So, you are ready. If you find with your metal detector a 155mm gun, some charges and a shell, you can try to fire some shots, but please aim to an empty mountains or a desert.